I'm an older guy. Same here. Yeah. And I remember being 12, 13, 14 years old and single women. And most of the time it was because their husband had died. Right. The whole community took care of them. Mm. And it was, why did the community take care of them? Because they took care of the community in their younger days. They taught school. They were nurses. They did daycare. They had, they built their families. So all of their kids were always around. Their grandkids were around. They had a system and a network of people that cared about them because they cared for more people other than themselves in their younger years. Mm. And nobody is telling these women this now. Everything's about what I want, what I feel, I, 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 me, me, me. And that's fine for right now. But don't Vivica us <laughs> later on. Don't Lisa Ray us later on. Don't do any of that. And oh my God, and please don't Leslie Jones us. Have you seen her lady? I saw, I saw that this morning, Bob. Yo, please, <laughs> man, give me some, man. Give me some. If, if, I'm, if we're talking about the same thing, I saw something today saying that she's tired of taking care of men. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. as far as dating mm -hmm. and being trash. She's mm -hmm. tired of that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what she has to understand is, ladies, if you're not that good of a looker, or if you're a low hanging fruit, and I hate to say I, I talk about my BBWs, mm -hmm. I love my BBWs, mm -hmm. but a lot of BBWs tend to have lower self esteem. They tend to be low hanging fruit, and they tend to lead with their money or assets that they may be able to provide a man as a shortcut, for lack of a better term. Instead of me working on myself physically, I'm just going to buy a man or pay for a man. In the case of Leslie Jones, she's a wealthy woman. She's not that, no, no, no offense, no matter how much makeup really, she, and she's a tall woman. She's a big woman and she's not mm -hmm. a petite woman at all. So of course the men that she wants, she's probably gonna have to pay for them. And it was someone else who said that. It was a big chick. I think Monique said that. What she said. She's like, I never had a problem getting men in the past, yeah. but that's because she was paying for men. Mm -hmm. So you can afford to do that when you reach a certain level. Just my thoughts. You know? Yeah, I, I, it was just weird. I'm like, why does this lady keep acting like she doesn't know? <laughs> she older than us. Yeah, for right? sure. Yeah. So you, you, we've all, I, I've been in my body half a century in a couple of months, right? <laughs> I know it. It's skinny, right? Mm. I know what it is. This lady's like 56, 57 years old. She don't know what it is she inside of. All of us know our making models. For sure. Okay? So <laughs> she came yeah. out in the first video and was like, I don't even want you to have to hardcore edit, but was talking about Dude's stuff wasn't working. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude's stuff wasn't working. I remember that. My thing is, if Leslie was in a room with 10 other women, mm -hmm. how many of those other women, I'm, I'm being serious, how many of your, those other women do you think would be saying they keep running into dudes that stuff don't work? Mm. Out of all the complaints I've been seeing on TikTok, that chicks made, my fuck stuff not working ain't been one of them. Nah, it's not. It's That's a you happen. problem. Yeah. That's a you problem. You the reason they stuff don't work. Mm. You the reason they stuff don't work. See, and, my, and I'm not trying to really pick on her, but the reason I brought that up is this is the type of female that cannot be a me, 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 me person. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be going above and beyond right. to compensate for your make and model. For sure. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. but instead of doing that, you'll go get in the seat when they cut a camera and a microphone on and, and you will blame the consumer. Because let's be real. <laughs> no, let's be real. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's compare because all our women are professionals now. You right. see what I'm saying? They got degrees. So they're, they're good at understanding business analogies. Mm -hmm. All right? In the world of relationships, Let's make this a car lot. Let's make this a lot. Okay. The women are the cars. Okay. The men are the purchasers because we're the ones that have to propose for marriage. We're the ones in charge of marriage. We, we hold the gatekeeper. We're the gatekeepers to that. They're the gatekeepers to sex and relationships. So 
You guys are the ones that are offering your services, your goods, your product. You're the, you're Girl Max. All right. We're going to take a trip to Girl Max. We're looking at the vehicles. We, the customer, we're saying some of these vehicles are too high. Well, at a regular car lot, what happens when the customers keep coming in and they're like, I don't really like these vehicles over here because they, I think they're too expensive. The mileage is high. It's dinged up a little bit, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. What happens after about three or four weeks on that car lot? They mark the damn car down. Mm -hmm. Not on Girl Max. When you go to Girl Max and the consumers say, this mileage is a little bit high. It's three kids on this one. It's dinged up. It's about 225 and only 5'3". I think that's a little bit high. Customer, you stupid. Mm. The price is what it is. What happened to the customer is always right. The customer is always wrong when you go to Girl Max. Always wrong. You're absolutely right. Always yeah, But wrong. then they wonder why all of the makes and models are still sitting there. It's the lot that cannot move any inventory. The SUV sitting over there. And the problem is, Every one of these cars are luxury. Mm -hmm. Every one of these cars are luxury. None of them are pickups. I like a pickup. That chick's helpful. She help you bring stuff. She's got horsepower. If you lacking a little bit, she got horsepower. Nope, everybody's a BMW. Everybody at, at, at Girl Max is a BMW or a Mercedes or a Absolutely. Porsche. And none of the customers can say it's overpriced. Mm. Or you're dusty. Yo, you hey, that was an excellent analogy, QT Dub. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Girl Max. Yeah. That was an excellent analogy right there in terms of I'm about to say Car Max. Girl Max. <laughs> and they're you're right. They're all luxury vehicles. Nothing's wrong. The problem is you. So <laughs> I don't know, man. But all in all, this is gonna be an interesting journey with this podcast. Mm -hmm. I, I intend to have on more personalities, local people, people mm -hmm. from all different walks of life, so mm -hmm. both men and women, that they can give their experience on mm -hmm. this whole thing. Mm -hmm. If you guys are interested and you're in the Atlanta area, shoot me a DM or email me if you just want to share your dating experience out here, some things that you've come across, and just what life is like here in Atlanta. With that being said, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>